positive reinforcement happens when you present a desirable reinforcer as a consequence to a behavior. This causes the behavior to increase. The rule of thumb is, if you are providing reinforcement, even if it's not conscious, your dog will repeat the behavior. Reinforcement can be anything, attention, treats, or toys. It is whatever motivates your dog. I like to start with a food lure and then removing the lure after about six to 12 trials. However, you can use other things like toys or your empty hand. Start off with the lure becoming the reward and then replace it with life rewards like pets, going on walks, getting on the furniture, playing fetch, and going to play. Luring is guiding a dog into a position. You have to get rid of the lure after 6 to 12 trials so it does not become a bribe. A bribe is when your dog only does something if he can see a treat or his reward. A bribe is presented before the dog does something. A reward is something that the dog gets for doing something right or for just being awesome. It is given after a desired behavior. To avoid bribing your dog, practice commands without showing him his treat or rewards. After the dog does something, go and get the reward or pet him and love on him. Forgetting to fade out the lure or treat early in training can make you and your dog over-dependent on treats. If your dog only does commands when he is presented with a reward, start with a lure and after a couple of lures, put the treat away. Lure with an empty hand and wait for your dog to do what you asked. You will have to be patient. Do a huge reward if he does it. Start using life rewards like going for walks, pets, and jumping on the furniture. Some dogs are a little more insecure or unsure of themselves and may need rewards even when it takes them a little longer to do something. Offer more encouragement if your dog is insecure. Try to help them succeed. Make sure to verbally praise your dog for attempting the command. In order to build her confidence, praise her outside of training as well. Stop rewarding subpar behavior. After your dog learns the command, you need to decide what level of proficiency you will reward and how good of a reward. Give different value treats to reflect the quality of his performance. If you ask multiple times for your dog to sit, perhaps just a good dog will do and then repeat the exercise. If he does it on the first time, then it is a good boy plus a treat and pets. If you push the dog into a sit or a down, they did not do it themselves. They do learn to sit, but they learn it to avoid discomfort of being pushed rather than from the enjoyment of doing it. You want to help him succeed on his own and get the very best for dog. Pushing on the dog can also cause pain if he is injured or has arthritis.